your mom. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another haul video. Um, quite a lot of manga, a few Blu-rays and other things. So I will just quickly go through them. I don't think it's going to be a particularly long video, but I always say that and things always go... Uh, things always end up longer than I say they are. So, um, first things first, my experience, my lesbian experience with loneliness. I got this really recently. I've read halfway, I'm halfway through and it's very sad. It's one of the realest things I've ever read in manga. Well, not really like realist, but I really relate to this girl. I feel like a lot of her issues and stuff I, um, personally relate to. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a good read too. It's, um, good comedy. The art is really cute. But it is for uh, an older audience. I wouldn't recommend it for anyone under, I don't know, 16, I'd say. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe 18. Anyway, it's not for kids. I, I, find, I think that kids might find it boring. Um, this is volume 8 of Jojo. I'm missing two volumes from my collection so I got them both. This is volume 6 and volume 8. These two were the ones I was missing. So that completes my Jojo's Bizarre Adventure um, collection. I also have Inuyasha volume 31. This is the Yellow Spine. Inuyasha volume 29. Again yellow. I'm so far behind on this though, I'm kind of tempted to just sell what I have and just grab a complete set on eBay or something, but I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> uh, volume 30, this one unfortunately is a little bit faded, but the cover is still fine and the book is new, it's just the fading on the spine. I also got a few volumes of Parasite, so this is Parasite volume 1. Parasite Volume 2 and Volume 3. I got these from a local comic book manga shop and I intend to do a video about that shop in a separate um, video. But for now, um, those are the three that I got. I also got Manga in Theory and Practice by Hirohiko Araki, the legend. Um, it's really eye-opening, um, quite insightful. I never really gave the guy enough credit and I didn't realize how much, uh, how seriously he thought about manga and creating a good series. So this um, has really opened my eyes in that regard. It's also just really interesting. He's given a lot of tips on how he found success in his series. So um, if you're interested in creating manga, I recommend that book. It's really easy to read, so you'll be finished in no time. Uh, I got three, vo three volumes, three things of Blu-ray. I have Tokyo Marble Chocolates. This is a movie that I didn't know existed actually, but I saw it on sale. I can't remember if it was on sale or something. It looked really nice, so I picked it up. I also have the Knights, sorry, not the Knights, just Knights of Sidonia Blu-ray um, collection. I want to get the manga, but unfortunately it's one of those where it's partially out of print, so who knows what's going to happen there. I also have Tiger and Bunny The Beginning. Sorry if you can hear the background noise. Um, yeah, Tiger and Bunny The Beginning, and this completes my Tiger and Bunny collection. So I've got everything now, I think, unless I decide to release something else. On Instagram and on YouTube, I um, ran into a girl, I think she found me first, but I checked out her account, and she is, I think she goes by the handle Shoujo Addict. Um, Anyway, I checked out her channel and it really just highlighted how little I have in that shoujo genre. So I've been trying to remedy that by, um, I saw Alice 19 on sale in the local trading. So I picked up the full collection of seven volumes. This is volume one. This is why I don't watch, um, other people's collection videos, by the way. It's because I always 
want more stuff and I can barely keep up with ones I already want and it just adds to the list. This is volume 2. But I do enjoy watching them. I just I just get so greedy. I just need to buy the stuff from their collection to add to my own and it's a really big problem. This is which is why nothing against other people having collections or anything. It's just me and my issues with uh, self-control. This is volume 5. Volume 6. And volume 7. So this is the last volume, I do believe. And then I always find that it's not. But I'm pretty sure this is it. And that covers all the manga. I also got one game. I got Klonoa Door of the Fan Door to Phantom Mile. A friend I made recently really recommended this game, so I wanted to get it. And coincidentally, it's really rare in PAL region, English PAL region. But coincidentally, just as I was starting to look for it, one came up for auction that was alright in price. Um, so I picked it up, and this is it, Klonoa. And two things, I got these off Yahoo Auctions because I couldn't get them from the Premium Bandai Store and the, I think it's the Bandai Store and the Mega House Store. This is, I know the box is kind of, kind of shit, but I, I will show you what these are. Basically, it's Orphan Chew. If you guys don't know, I, I'm in love with... Orphan Chew, Tickets and Orphans, and that whole Gundam series. And Orphan Chew is just draining my money, basically. So, this is what, this is what it looks like. You get one, two, three, four, five, six characters in here. There are the characters on the back. And it is open, so I will because I got it from Yahoo Auctions. It's a second hand, second hand box. And let me just say, it, it wasn't cheap, okay? It was kind of expensive, <laughs> but I had to, otherwise I'd be crazy. I'd go crazy for not having the complete set. So, oh my god, oh my god, so cute. So this is what they look like in the package. We have Oruga, Mikazuki, Takaki, Yama is it Yamazaki, Almida, and Gaelio with a little hamster eye. So cute guys, oh my god. They also come with a few cards. I'll show you them. Mika and Oruga. This is a thank you card. So cute. And this one is, um, they call it Nyada, Nyada Horn. Nyada Horn. So Makilis and Gaelio. <laughs> it's, it's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this back because it's expensive. aside for now. This one is also an orphan chew, but it is the rubber mascot collection. I don't want to open this one because it's not opened. It's completely sealed, but basically it is the orphan chew characters as rubber straps. And I think all of these are in, in this box here. So that's cute. I might get myself a second copy so that I can open it and um, play with them. But for now, they're going to be in this box, out of sight. And that concludes my haul video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys want to see anything um, you know, closer up, um, in detail, Please let me know so that I can make a separate video for you guys. I do want to make more closer look videos. I only have one in the, on the... 
Yeah, I can't speak English. I only have one on the channel at the moment, which is the um, Kanoya Sachiko's art book, but I want to do so much more. So please let me know which one you want to see. Otherwise, I'll just pick whatever I want and we'll go from there. And as a side note, if anyone is interested, I have set up a Patreon account. Just um, if you guys want to support me and the channel, then please take a look at the Patreon and consider becoming a patron. Um, there's not a lot of perks, to be honest. I, I want to keep Patreon as just a tip system. If you like what you see, just um, like a tip would be nice. But you don't have to. I don't want to do any sort of exclusive or locked content. Everything will still be on the main channel. Still be free for everyone to watch. Maybe I'll have a few other goodies like um, doodles or... I don't know, like you can vote on which thing you want to see more and I'll take your vote more seriously. But overall, I just want this to be a... A tip system so if you want to just support me just because you like what I do and like what you see on this channel then hop on over and hopefully I don't, I don't hope for anything guys you do what you want always no pressure I'll still be here doing the same thing as always so but it would be nice it would be nice I'm not gonna lie all right thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video it'll probably be the 30 day wrap up video and probably in the same sitting so I'll probably wear the same clothes. Alright, see you guys. Bye!